we're, we're talking about modal verbs here. Modal verbs. And let's take a look at the difference between uh, these guys here. You see that uh, there is some things you have to remember when you use them. For example, you never use you never use to after a modal verbs after modals. So you don't say can to should to. Okay, you just use can and the verb. That's it. And can indicates that you have the ability or the possibility. So if you say, for example, if you say I can uh, work on Sunday, you're saying to your boss, I can work on Sunday, you're saying to your boss that it is possible. Or if you say, uh, I can play the piano, you're saying that you have the ability. And if it's the negative form, you're going to use, let me change the color here very quickly. If it's the negative form, negative, you're going to use I cannot or I can't. If it's past, you're going to use could. The rest is the same. Okay, the rest is not different. So you can say I could work on Sunday. I could play the piano. You can also use could for conditionals. You can also use could. So, for example, if you say, I could work on Sunday, it's conditional. Actually, you cannot, but you could if you had uh, more, if, if you had more time, if you had more incentive, etc. Let's go to the next one. The next one is should. Should, you're going to use it for recommendation. Recommendation. Or recommendations. Okay, so if you say you should uh, exercise more, that is a recommendation. Must, a lot of people think of must as an obligation. No, must is when you don't have options. So must means no options. With includes which includes uh, orders, when you have no options, obligations, okay, includes, but it's not only orders or obligation, it's for any uh, situation when you have no options. For example, uh, I must, I must, brush my teeth. I don't have the obligation, but I must brush my teeth. I don't give me options not to brush my teeth. I don't allow me this option. Or, or I might say, for example, uh, he must be your brother. I would say that if this person looks so much like you, he's identical to you, that I don't see any other options. He must be your brother. Might. You're going to use it when you have 50% chance. For example, he might come here. It's not exactly, this number is not exact, okay? But it helps us to understand a lot. So if I say he might come here, I understand that there is a 50% possibility that he comes here. Or for example, like I said here, he must be your brother. I would say he might be happy. So I understand that there is a chance, like 50% chance. 
that he is happy. Next, would. Would, you use would. Plus verb. By the way, you use all of the modals plus verb. But in this case, you use would plus verb to make the verb to make the verb hypothetical. Okay? So you make the verb hypothetical. So if you say, for example, would go, it's hypothetic, hypothetical. For example, I would go to school today, but I can't. Okay? So it's only a hypothesis. Would you uh, know the name of the teacher? So that's a hypothesis. Uh, I would have done many things uh, if I had money. Hypothesis. So would go, would be, uh, would buy, I would buy a car if I had money. And you can also use would to be polite. Okay, to be polite. Polite. Sorry, here uh, I don't have any more space. <laughs> But to be polite, when you say, for example, would you help me? Whoops. Would you help me? Okay? You're asking for something politely. Or, uh, would you know how to fix this? If I say, would you know how to fix this? I am asking the person to help me fix this, but in a polite way. 